I don't think it can get much better than this, right? Any better? I had my hair up in a bun after showering for two days without taking it out or anything. I didn't even bother to brush it, I don't think. And now it's just the frizziest. It's, it's there. It's all out there. Like, hold on. Maybe if I can show you from the mirror. I'm trying to see. Yeah, do you see how frizzy it is? That's how frizzy my hair is after a few days of having it up in a bun, and I honestly love it that way. I'd rather have my hair this way. A lot of people say it looks awful, and then some people say, oh, your hair looks so thick. Da -da -da -da. You know what? I don't care what y'all say, because I like it no matter the way it is. Anyways, I have to come in here into the light to really go into detail with what I'm doing today. So, I'm ready to set out fall things. I'm ready to set out my spooky things, but obviously it's nowhere near October. Bing. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, obviously it's nowhere near October, but I'm very ready to set out my spooky things. But I also have to show my spooky things that I've gotten recently. So, I don't know if any of you all know, but I got Vampire Blood and I got Ghoul's Friend. Like, oop, oopsie daisy. Okay, you're cracking me up, Bubby. <laughs> like, I got all the wash and everything from Bath and Body Works, right? Well, I get it, and then I'm like, ugh. I don't, I don't like it. It's too candy smelly. It's not like a cookie, like a sweet cookie smell or a fall smell. It's like this candy crap. Like, I don't know. I just didn't care for it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it again because I don't like it. I did keep the candy apple cauldron wash that I got because I really like that scent. But I'm more of like a sweet smelly type of person. I love smelling like a fresh bakery. No matter the time of year, my favorite scents to get are the ones in the fall and in the winter because I love to smell like a cookie. Like I, I like to smell like something you'd want to eat. You know what I mean? Like I can't explain it. But I switched to pumpkin swirl cake, which is the best smell I have ever known in my entire life. It literally just smells like a pumpkin roll. Like, it smells so freaking good. I got the wash, too. I didn't see the sanitizer. I got the wash, and I got the perfume and the lotion. I also went to Walmart, and I got two other... What are you doing? You want me? This one is walking everywhere now, so I am the busiest I have ever been. Who is that? Who is that? Is that Lilith? Okay, let's grab it and get out of this room because this is the hottest room in my house. So I hate being in here. Uh-oh, where did I put this? Okay. I only got two things from Walmart the other day, and it wasn't because I didn't want to get more. It's that I went with my mom, and she was giving me this, like, you're really buying that face. So I didn't want to get any more stuff because then I knew she was going to give me this judgy face. And I was like, <laughs> okay, never mind. I still love shopping with her, but she... She's very judgy about like how much I get when I'm shopping. 
and I'm very good with my money. So it's it's kind of irritating sometimes. But he showed himself in that room. for a minute. You might be good for an hour. Hey, hold on. Hold on. You can see it too. Everybody wants to see what I got. They had a lot at Walmart that I really, really wanted. Like they have this stacked pumpkin that I thought was so cute for like a year round or just in the fall thing. So I'm still debating getting it because even though I have stuff to sit around my house, I don't have stuff to sit on top of my kitchen countertops like i don't have a cookie jar a spooky cookie jar or anything i want to get one for christmas too so i'm really thinking about my kitchen now and all the stuff i want to get from here on is for my kitchen and i want to have stuff to set on top of my cabinets to decorate so once i finish showing you all this i'm going to take you all into the kitchen and explain to you like what I'm wanting where on top of my cabinets and I'm going to explain what I want so that's if I can get any of it <laughs> so I just thought this was so cute it says boo to you it's such a cute little sign and I love it and I'm honestly probably going to put it in my kitchen I'm honestly probably gonna put it in my kitchen. I found a Greetings Foolish Mortals light up sign that I am thinking about getting. Like it's super cheap too. It's on Timu. That's me. Yes it is. That's me. You need to be nice. I love you. Can you be nice? Yes you can. I believe in you. No, want what? Hello. You want ghost? I got you a ghosty pillow. You want your ghosty pillow? You? Do you want your ghost pillow? Okay. A bottle? Well, where's your bottle at? Is it in there? Go look in there and let me know. Will you go look in there? Okay, this is the last thing that I got. I only got two things at Walmart, sadly. And this is the other thing I got. Obviously, you all know I love the vintage style. There's vintage um, signs to sit outside that I really wanted at Dollar Tree for some reason. I didn't grab them. I'm still debating it. But I'm not getting... Like, I feel like it sounds like I'm getting a lot more for Halloween. And I'm not at all. Like, if I feel like getting it this year, I will. But if I don't feel like it, I'm not going to. Because I already have Christmas stuff in every single card of mine to get to for Christmas. Because we've changed the theme for Christmas. So, I got this. He is amazing. Is he not? Ah, he's cool, ain't he? <laughs> yeah! They like him too, so I guess that's a good thing. Your kids will like it. So yeah, he's super cool, and I love him so much. And I really, like, thoroughly, like, as you can see, I have, like, three or more bags in each of these. I really wrapped up these things because I was worried about them. But yeah. And now we on to the kitchen. <laughs> You need to be nice. I feel like my personality on here on YouTube is so different than it is in real life when it comes to my kids. Because my kids are really mean to each other for some reason. So in all reality, I am not this nice of a person. Because my older kid likes to bully my little kid. So it's just, it's something else. 
<laughs> like, look at this. You see it just bouncing out. I'm a victim of wearing glasses. Like, I don't know if I'm the only one that has this happen to them, and I seriously doubt that I am, but people that wear glasses, what do you do with your flipping hair? I mean, do you pin it half the time? Because my hair gets stuck right here in my glasses all the time, and like half the time I don't realize it, and it just ends up breaking. I honestly think this is just a big new strain of hair, but I have pieces that are literally broke because it breaks. Okay, so... Here's this side up here. Yes, I know down here looks a mess. It's whatever. Okay, anyways, up here I have right here too. So here is my plan and I have the stuff picked out, okay? So basically, you all can't even see this. Hold on. If I can get that to really, okay. That's so much better. So here's my plan. There's a stackable, like, striped, I'm calling it striped, like a checkered, plaid, whatever you want to call it, pumpkin at Walmart, okay? For some reason, I really want two of them, but I might do just the one, but I really want one here with a pumpkin, or some pumpkins, and a little, a little candle thing or something. But it might not be all that. It might just be like the stack with some a pumpkin next to it or something. I already have my own stuff anyways. So um, I might put one of my own things I already have up there. But this is just the idea, okay? On the other side, we're going to go to the other side. And y'all can see it like decently, right? Okay, yeah, you can see it decently. There. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to hold it up. So, this corner area is right by my sink, okay? So, a pumpkin stack, a pumpkin, a candle holder castle looking thing, okay? A castle, a spooky castle looking thing up there. That's what I want. And I have one at Walmart, and I didn't see the price of it, but I want it. So, depends on the price though, obviously, because I'm not gonna, like any of the items that I have gotten this year have literally been below 20 bucks, every single item. I am not spending all kinds of money on anything. I'm literally not. Like, if I go out and I'm seeing a pumpkin I really want, and it's sister and says that it's 20-something dollars or more, I'm, I'm not getting it. Whether I love it or not, I'm not about to grab it. Because, no. Um, so, I feel like everybody thinks I'm spending an extravagant amount, and I'm literally not. I am budgeting. I give myself a little budget, and that is what I stick in. I don't even think I've met the budget that I had for Halloween stuff this year, and that's an honest opinion. Like, I think I set my limit to be like 40. Sally! Close it. Sally! Okay, and I forgive you. Close it. All the way. Thank you. Stay out of it. So, I don't even think I've reached the goal. I had 40. $50 goal? Maybe it was like right at 60 And I haven't even reached that goal of 60 yet. That is how cheap I am keeping myself. And I feel like there's people out there that spend hundreds and hundreds more than I do. And I don't know. I haven't spent all that much money. So it's really not a big deal to me. But for Christmas, you best believe I'm going to spend some money on Christmas too. I pretty much have the same like $60 limit if I feel like it anyways for Christmas. The only thing that we really talked about doing for Christmas was, oh, what was it that we talked about? We decided to change the color scheme of what we wanted to do. And I don't, I think that's really all that we talked about doing. 
So I don't think for Christmas much is really going to go down unless I find some amazing stuff that I just have to have, right? But, yeah. I think the only thing that I have an issue with this year is that most of the stuff is so homey. Like, for... What happened in my life? That is really bright. Apparently you can set the light on here and I, I didn't know that, so whatever. But a lot of the stuff for this year and I feel like for Christmas is homey things that you can have all year round. And I love it so, so much, but at the same time, I hate it. And the reason why I hate it is because I'm one of the people that loves the holiday season. So if I can incorporate it all year round that I'm going to, and I've, I'm trying to be that kind of person this year where I really pace myself and I do each season at a time, and it is so insanely difficult for me. It is so insanely difficult. Like, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with in my life, and I don't see how people do it. Like, the people that love summertime can easily wait forever on the holidays but for me i love fall and winter time the absolute most like all year round i'm ready for fall and winter time i'm ready for pumpkins i'm ready for christmas trees and stuff i'm ready for it all so i am like all i want to do is have out my decorations all year round you know but I have to pace myself and make it a seasonal thing. Otherwise, it like messes with my emotions. You know what I mean? Like it could be 100 degrees outside and I'm looking at Halloween stuff. And I feel like when you do that, it messes with your emotions. Because it like sets your mind and your body that it's fall outside. That it's cold outside. That you can wear your super cute sweater outfits and... You can carve pumpkins and stuff, and it's, an, it's like 100 degrees outside. I don't know if you get what I mean, but honestly, it has been so difficult, basically what I'm saying, to, like, postpone the decorating. So I will be doing the very, the very, this is what I mean, the bare minimum, very bare minimum of stuff, but I'm still going to do it, you know? Like, I'm still going to decorate. Okay. I'm going to be in here for one second, and I need you to promise me you're not going to touch my books. Okay? Can you say, okay, Mommy? Okay, Mommy. Thank you. I feel like me and him have a really good communication, me and my two-year-old. So whenever he says, okay, Mommy, to me, I somehow I know... He's not going to bother to do anything. It's so weird. See, I really want to put out that spooky stuff. My mom already has some Halloween stuff out, though. So, like, I have a right to do it, right? Duh. Hey. Hey. Share, okay? Okay? Baby, you're two. You don't need a passy. Take it out. I don't know if anybody else on here with kids is going through what I go through, but I think all toddlers do it at some point anyways. My toddler is going through this phase where he feels like he has to be the baby too to get attention. So he, like, sometimes he'll talk like a baby. Like he'll go goo goo ga ga and stuff. Or sometimes he'll do the passy or he'll want one of those baby bottles or whatever. And he's like in this phase of like, he's grasping for attention that we, we try to really spin as much as we can with both of them. And I hate to say it, but sometimes I feel like Lilas does get a little more at times. He get, my two-year-old gets it most of the time because he has sickness stuff that he has to be in and out of the hospital for. But 
I feel like my baby Lilas, who's one, gets a bit more of attention because he's walking now. So he's literally everywhere now, and he he's just everywhere. Like he, you know, one year old, they're figuring out everything, they're flipping wild, and that's just what's been going on. So this isn't a spooky thing, but my mom gave me this, and it's because I love the old farmhouse cottage look that I am obsessed with this and have no idea where to put it. Okay, this is beautiful. It says free range poultry, right? And I am absolutely obsessed with this. It is beautiful. And I don't know where to put it. But I really, like my thing is, is that you see all this lemon stuff everywhere. That stuff is going to be getting taken down and I'm going to have spooky things up. Like, anywhere that I hang certain pictures and stuff, I try to think of that's going to be where I put my Halloween signs, my Christmas signs, and stuff, too. So, that that's why I'm having difficulty trying to figure this thing out, because there's really good spots to put it. And then at the same time, I'm like, ugh, see, that's a good spot, but at the same time, it's not at all, because... There's a lot that we have to think about. Like, we've talked about getting a washer and dryer in here. We actually have to go out to do our loads of laundry. We don't do it at home. We have to take it to a mat or my mom's wherever. And this is where the fridge is supposed to be. And we can't fit the fridge in our kitchen. Our fridge is when you walk in the door in our doorway. Yeah, so the, it's just, I have to be really finicky about where I actually put stuff, and sometimes I'll hang up things and I'm like, uh, wait a minute, I really can't have that there. Or I don't really hang it, but I'll kind of like tape or something, and I'll be like, oh wait, I can't put it there because what about all this? I have to figure out this. And I mean, me and Robert are planning on being here for a fat minute, right? So, I really gotta think that stuff through. Anyways, I think that we're gonna set out the little spooky signs. And I'm gonna try to make that the only little thing that I put out, but I can't make any promises. But obviously, once you put out something, you need to put up things, and that is what I tell myself to do. So, that is what we are about to do. <laughs> we got things out, we gotta put things up. That's my favorite quote that I like to do. Now people that... so cute it's crazy and I'm sweating I'm sweating so bad like it is ow ow no baby you don't need those anymore it is uh, extremely hot outside and we don't have any AC or anything reaching the kitchen so it's hot in here hey mm-hmm mm -hmm. get the passy out of your mouth it doesn't go in your mouth you're too bananas baby would you like crackers you want crackers yes. crackers yeah we have crackers cheese. you want the cheese crackers cheese. I think yeah these are the cheese ones you want the cheese here baby here's the cheese crackers why are you hiding 
You want cheese crackers? No? Well, they'll be waiting here for you. Oh, this is the... Hmm. Well, they'll be waiting here for you. I think I got the peanut butter, but it's fine. Cheetos? pick it up because that's me. Ooh, burning up, 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 burning up. These? Baby, I really don't know what you're looking for then. Okay. Boo to you too. Alright, let's see where we're going to put this at. I really have no idea right now, but I think it'd be a cute coffee bar moment. So, coffee bar? Alright, hold on. If y'all can see it, hopefully that looks cute. It says boo to you. I'm obviously going to have like other things on the cart. See, it's kind of covered. And, but then it's not. I feel like I should have it lower, right? Should I have it lower? Hold on, let's see here. I just feel like I get my creamer out a lot. So I'm trying not to really... Is that better? I think that's kind of better. Yeah. You can see all the coffee. A lot of Star Wars. There's Harry Potter. <laughs> Crackers? I told you you want them crackers. Hold on. Here you go. There you go. Okay, now we have to see where we're going to put the cat. And I have not named him yet. I don't know what to name him. Huh. I don't know what to name him. I wish I did. Okay. Oh, that was the light. I thought that was my hair for a minute. I was <laughs> like, are you serious? He's so cute. I'm like, where do I put him? Because I doesn't know. See, I kind of want to put him on the coffee bar too, but then it's like literally, no, that would be stupid. You know when you like wish you knew when you don't know? That's my problem. Okay, so I'm kind of putting things away to figure it out. So far, he is right there. And then I have my boo to you sign up there so that's what we got so far and i might do a little bit of pumpkins or something i don't know i'm not trying to do all kinds of stuff and i feel like if i get all that out then i'm gonna have to decorate the whole house so i'm trying to pace myself but i hope that you all enjoyed this video and i hope that you like the two well technically five even though you didn't see the wash spooky little items that I got, I will be getting some more and I will do another haul. And um, I really want to get a nice little table runner to put on here too, a spooky one, actually. So, yeah. So, probably have to do a home goods trip or something soon. I haven't gone to Dollar General yet. Dollar General has their spooky stuff out. I haven't gone to Target yet. I haven't gone to TJ Maxx yet. So if they have really cute stuff there, 
somebody let me know and I will go there and I will look and I will probably get a bunch. I don't know. But thank you all for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed and sorry I kept having to be off and on the camera but I really hope that you like my spooky things and I didn't tell you the price of it actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this cat, $9.42, okay? $9.42 for the cat and for the sign, $3 for the sign. For the booty sign that if I got it somewhere else would cost like 10 or more dollars. That was three bucks. Yeah. You, okay. I was so confused for a minute. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!